It has emerged the 22-year-old Adelaide woman facing drug smuggling charges in Colombia may have been caught because of her airline ticket. It was bought for her at the last minute by someone in Hong Kong, arousing suspicion in the US. Duncan Mackenzie McCarg reports from Bogota. This man's seen it all before. As the head of narcotic police at Bogota's international airport, he knows what a drug smuggler looks like. First there comes surprise and then denial. But all through this process they're very relaxed. Cassie Sainsbury says she thought she was carrying gifts home for her family and friends in these 18 packages. She claims she didn't know there was six kilograms of cocaine inside until police stopped her at the airport. She was very normal and calm. Unfortunately, all the mules do this when they know they're carrying drugs. It's emerged the 22-year-old was just minutes from boarding her plane when she was arrested. She'd already been through security, but then came the tip-off and Julio's team went back for a second look. Cassie's ticket was bought at the last minute in Hong Kong, raising a red flag with US authorities. They say her profile fits a well-established drug trafficking pattern and the amount of drugs involved means she can't get bail. But Australia can't intervene in investigations or in legal proceedings and so we have provided her with the names of local lawyers for her to choose and we've certainly maintained contact with her family. Behind me is Sainsbury's home for the foreseeable future. El Buen Pastor is one of the toughest female prisons in the world. It's squalid, it's overcrowded and inmates are rife with sickness. Sainsbury plans to pass the time by taking up Spanish and all for the promise of a few thousand dollars. If she was successful, she would have got paid around five to ten thousand dollars US. But it depends on the organisation if she would have got paid or not. And Julio's got a simple message for people thinking of making some quick cash. They will lie to you and take advantage of you. They will use any methods to get you involved and they won't keep their promises. Duncan Mackenzie McCarg, 10 Eyewitness News.